Well, numbers from the American Cancer Society, they spell out the troubling trend when it comes to colorectal cancer. Cases in people under 50, they have been climbing steadily for years and more are dying from that disease each year. Well, now one local organization is working to spread awareness with their third annual charity golf classic, and that's happening on Monday. So joining us to talk details are Eric Lecomte and Antonio Dionisio, founders of Champions for Colorectal Cancer. Guys, thank you so much for being here this morning. Really appreciate it. Angelo, appreciate nice you. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, thank so you. we Likewise. did a story about this troubling rise that we're seeing just a few days ago. Learned a lot myself about this. You guys are doing awesome work. Tell us about the organization. Give us your stories. Why are you doing this? Sure. So uh, we were founded in, uh, in, in 2021. Uh, it was a way for us to raise awareness in the younger generation on the importance of uh, early detection. And ultimately, the sooner you get tested, uh, the more you become aware of the risk factors that are involved. But this is one of those diseases that if you catch it soon enough, uh, your outcomes will substantially get a lot better. So um, ultimately what we do is we try to educate the younger generations on the importance of getting tested early. Um, those families who have been negatively impacted by colon cancer already, uh, we do a lot of advocacy for them, um, help their families through it, help them through it. Uh, but as well, we uh, of course try to uh, raise awareness throughout the rest of the country uh, by way of legis legislature as well. So, you know, trying to get ages reduced down, which is one thing that we've had an impact on for uh, testing the age that doctors recommended getting tested uh, for colon cancer was 50, uh, and now it's been reduced down to 45. So. Uh, again, the more edu education that we can, we can raise and uh, more education that we can drive, I think the better outcomes we'll have for folks. Absolutely. And Antonio, talk about the reality of the situation. At 2030, you don't expect to be talking about the C word, but that is the case with colorectal cancer for some people, right? Absolutely. So we've been noticing a trend, and by 2030, it's going to be the leading cause of cancer deaths uh, for those under the age of 50. So uh, we've been pushing to, to make that change. We've met with legislators. We do an event uh, with a, a national organization called Fight CRC, where we went down to D.C. in March during Colon Cancer um, uh, Awareness Month, and we, you know we met with legislators. We've been meeting with local Connecticut legislators to also increase uh, access to health care and screenings uh, because we know that's so important to make sure that people get it caught early. And as you spread awareness, also looking to have some fun as well, make this exciting for people. And that leads us to this golf tournament on uh, Monday. So tell us about that. Yeah, so it's our third annual uh, Champions for CRC Charity Golf Classic. Uh, every year we've uh, been raising funds to be able to, uh, you know, help those families in need. Uh, we are looking to, to do bigger things, establish uh, scholarship funds potentially and things like that. But, um, you know, every year we get about 80 to 100 golfers that come out and join us. Uh, every year we've been raising more and more. I know last year we raised just over 35,000. This year we're well on pace to outpace that. So, um, yeah, it's a fun day, fun event. A beautiful golf course, Great River in Milford, Connecticut. And um, what else? And we have details on our website. Tell us about uh, the timing, location. Again, give people the rundown. Sure. So, uh, so this coming Monday, uh, we'll be at Great River. They do a tremendous job, obviously, with the course. Um, we have registration that starts at around 9 o'clock, and we kick off at, uh, at 10 o'clock. But one thing that I want to mention is each year at this event, we, we tell everybody about our mission and, and what we're there for. Um, each year since the first year that we've had it, we've had individuals that heard our message, went out, got tested, and had they not heard our message, had they not gotten tested, they themselves would be battling colon cancer at some point during their life. So they come back, they thank us, of course, for the mission, and hopefully that's a trickle-down effect. It's a cascade where they themselves know somebody who you know they can advocate and, and educate so that they can get tested too. So um, yeah, it's a tremendous day. We raise a lot of money and we have a lot of fun at the same time. So um, that's our, our flagship event and we're looking to each year get it a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger. There you go. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Angela, really, really you. appreciate thank it. You, thank you. Good luck on Monday. Have fun. And I think the weather is looking good too.